G'day everybody, just wanted to do a video on my latest addition to my Exito power exchange range. I've wanted a cordless jigsaw for a while. I've had a corded jigsaw for years and it's been really good to me. But I definitely wanted something that uh, had that option for cordless. Um, just for an occasional use every now and then or as a, as a backup I, I guess as well. Uh, came with just the actual jigsaw with uh, it came with one blade that's a bit average but i'll get to that later um and also comes with a timber cutting guide as well it's a really neat tool it has a d handle on it as well so it's very comfortable um you do get an option of uh doing a beveled edge up to 45 degrees each way and they do have um, measurements on that too so you got your measurements there on your timber guide as well um, which clamps down with two screws too which is which is, I think is is handy that way you know it's in there nice and tight you've got a vacuum attachment at the back there um, which slides in nice and easily and it doesn't really get in your way much and here you've got your Guide, like a line guide that clips onto the front and comes on and off pretty easy once it's on it's fairly stable like if you're cruising along a flat surface it's, it stays on pretty well uh, but as you can tell there's a slight notch in the front of the base frame that lines up with it as well so that way when you're, you're doing a nice straight cut you've got plenty of uh, plenty of clearance to see the line in front of you you do have a quick release bevel edge. Uh, first time I'm using it, so I was trying to figure out how to do it, but you just got to slide it. You slide that brake off, the clamp off, slide it forward. It gives you the option to go left and right, and then to actually get it back into position, you just sort of push it back a little bit so it just sort of gets into a notch, and then um, pull that brake, and then it, it just clamps it back down again. Really good option, really quite smooth as well. It, you can feel it sort of flick across the notches. Um, and then once you clamp it back, it stands up nice and straight. The actual grip is very comfortable, especially because you, usually you're standing above the actual jigsaw. You've got a safety switch on each side, so if you're left or right-handed, it's the same, you know, you can use it either way. A variable speed switch. Your finger, middle finger sits in the middle there nice and comfortably. One of the biggest benefits is this um, pendulum uh, aggressive, like the, the actual speed of the cut, so you can go to the most aggressive, which gives it a tilt. Um, so it cuts through the timber a lot quicker. Gives it a rougher cut, but at least you can go back. If you want a smooth cut, you can actually just put it back to the straight up and down uh, motion. Then you have a little clear guard that allows you to pop up, so you can get your fingers in there and a quick release blade clamp as well. So the that's the blade that actually came with the saw. Um, pretty easy to put it in, not difficult at all. Um, it just sort of clamps it and holds it down. It, it, you can see the little, uh, when you actually have a look inside, you can see the clamps either side that just hold it together. It definitely isn't going to come out. And you also got that blade guy that sits behind it nice and tight too. Um, very easy to install. I definitely recommend buying yourself a couple of new blades. I know some guys will probably take this home and use that blade and, and think that the, the saw is not that good. It's it's the blade. I don't expect Zito to provide a high quality blade either. You know, um, the, 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 the tool's good, good enough quality. Just buy a couple of decent quality blades and um, you'll find that it'll do a really good job. So... Let's uh, throw this battery in. I've still got, um, I've just got a three amp battery. I haven't needed to buy an extra battery yet. I find that that does a really good job. Uh, as you can tell, I nearly just cut my finger off. But um, the variable speed's really nice. It has, seems like it has a lot of power. The motor sounds really good. Um, so let's see how this thing cuts. I'll throw it on a piece, throw a piece of timber. And this is using the Azito blade. Um, 
you'll see how it cuts now and I'm, I'm not really pushing that hard but I don't reckon I want I want to push it too hard at this stage just trying to learn the tool um, and also to see what that what this blade will cut like but I can already tell that the blade struggling to get through that timber gives you a really really nice cut still does the job but it definitely grabs uh, in a few points that's probably the user that's actually doing the wrong thing but that's okay so that was just on a um, the straight up and down setting on the pendulum so now we'll go to the most aggressive and you'll see that there is quite an improvement in terms of speed uh, but I will again say it's uh, a it's not the best blade definitely go and get a couple of blades I, I think i bought two more aggressive blades for about six five or six dollars and they did a really really good job you can get um you can spend really good money and you'll get a you know a high high quality blade a very high quality blade and it'll do a really impressive job um it's not always the tool that's the uh that's the actual problem it's generally it can be it's your blades your drill bits all that sort of stuff. If you've got a bad drill bit or a bad blade, the tool is going to be useless. So you can see they're definitely cut a little bit quicker. Um, but what I'll show you now is I'll I'll get those other blades and install them and um, give you an idea of of what, how quick they cut. Definitely did a, f a fantastic job, to be honest. It feels really powerful. These are the two blades that I picked up low tooth count really fast cutting um, the difference between the two blades is these blades cut on the stroke upward the blade that comes in the package is uh, the teeth uh, they cut on the stroke downward um, but you'll notice how quickly these blades rip through the timber it's a 100 that's a 140 mil by a 25 i believe piece of timber so it's just, it's only a soft timber though it's only a pine but as you can tell the speed of cut with these new blades with a lower tooth count just tears through it really quickly um, if you do want a more of a precision cut you, you want to get a higher tooth count uh, but i i generally go with lower tooth count if i want to tidy it up i can always sand it back or um, you know smooth off the edges with a bit of sandpaper but really nice cut very quick cut super powerful rips the hell out of it like no tomorrow I think it's it's a really good tool if you just want to have a like if you've got a couple of Makita or Milwaukee tools lying around and you, you need something as a backup if, especially if you're a tradie or you've got an apprentice and you need to go need to go do some work have a couple of these Azito tools and you can send him on his way and you can if you have a problem with your tool and you're going to send it off to get repaired or fixed if you have a couple of these in your truck or your van it'll get you out of trouble just you know for a couple of days work um myself i'm probably just going to use it once every now and then around the house so yeah ultimately it's a really good product i think uh, Azito comes with some really good tools i know it's a um, it's an Einhell brand. I'm pretty sure Einhell, you know, in um, Germany or, or, you know, in Europe are using that brand name. Um, but as you can see, the most aggressive cut really pulled through quite well and very easily. I'm, I'm barely putting much pressure on the actual blade as well on the saw and it just, it just tears through it, you know. If, if I push really hard, I'm sure it'll just continue to rip through it. But, you know, I don't want to... Um, you know, come out with splinters and everything. The only thing I can mention is there is a splinter guard that came with the the packaging, but that broke. I think I I went and, and tried to install it, but I installed it wrong and I ended up breaking it. But I probably won't ever use it anyway. So if you're considering upgrading or downgrading or just getting a couple of extra tools for around the house, it's definitely worth investing into the Azito range. They're they're very handy. Um, they've really thought this product through the battery itself is fantastic I, I i had two bars when i first started cutting i this wasn't a fully charged battery i haven't i've only charged it once since i first bought this battery and i've used it multiple times i got a torch and a drop saw as well the last thing i want to do is do a quick 45 um, 
bevel cut on this thing. I'm not going to use a line or a guide or anything like that. I just want to see how it cuts. Um, and this is going to be with the 6 TPI blade as well. I don't really think I'm going to use that original Azito blade. I'm probably just going to chuck it out. Um, I reckon if I use the line, if I went across the line, or if I use the timber guide to to get a straight beveled cut, I reckon it work, would have worked really well. But you can see here it shreds through the timber really quickly. It disperses the timber really well too, so you can see where you're going. And just like that, you got a nice sharp beveled edge. That's come up really smooth. So I definitely recommend this product. Um, I think it's a really handy tool to have around the house. Thanks for watching.